Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Ned at Oakdale Veterinary Group and my unwilling volunteer is Goose. This is my new kitten. Uh, it's a perfect time to talk to you all about how to raise a kitten. Uh, joining me today is Betty, who's going to be interviewing me and asking some of the commonly asked questions we get at the vet hospital. So, fire away. Dr. Ned, what is the most important thing to know about raising a healthy kitten? Uh, lots of love. This little guy, he's about 14 weeks old. He needs lots of kisses and lots of hugs. Um, but seriously, they are a, a new member of your family and you need to make sure that you care for them. They need to be fed. They need to be kept safe. Uh, they're very fragile at this age. If you've got young children like me, you want to make sure they're not going to pick them up roughly. Um, they don't want to jump off things and hurt themselves. Uh, when you get a new pet, take them into the vet and the doctor there will give you lots of advice on what to feed them, the vaccinations to keep them safe, getting them spayed or neutered, and things to watch out for. What are the right and wrong ways to pick up my kitten? Okay, well again, Goose is going to be our volunteer here. The mother cat will pick them up by the scruff, but as they get heavier, that's going to be uncomfortable. So we generally don't pick them up like this. You can just put one hand straight underneath their chest, supporting all of their weight. If they're a bit bigger, you can put a hand under the hind end, cuddle them to you like this. When we're examining them, we're just making sure that we, we're not holding them up by a leg, by an ear, swinging them by a tail, that would be very weird. Just common sense, make them comfortable and happy. How can I tell if my kitten is happy and healthy? Um, if he's happy and healthy, you would expect them to be uh, eating well, having normal bowel movements, uh, urinating, playing a lot. So they'll do a lot of sleeping and a lot of playing. Goose is a Bengal, so he's very vocal um, and he's actually very sick. We have him on some medications to treat an infection. But if they have a normal stool and they play with you and they're happy and they're clean and they don't smell bad, then they should be fine. How should I feed my kitten? Uh, when they're young, they start off getting milk, and by about six weeks, they'll start to take solid food, either feeding them a soft pouched food or feeding them dry food and wetting it to help release some of the smell. Um, you can basically offer it to them. If they're very sick, then you're going to need to keep bringing it to them, give them fresh options. Uh, some places will feed raw diets, such as Goose's Breeder. It led him to get several infections, so we strongly do not recommend feeding raw food. Um, there's a lot of nasty stuff that you can protect yourself or your pets from by cooking food. So homemade diets are okay, but even better, go buy a pre-made can or bag of food from the pet store or from your vet. This one is Raw Canaan. This is a prescription one, so this isn't what he's going to eat. Uh, but there's lots of people that know more about nutrition than I do, and I trust them. The three companies that I strongly advocate for, Royal Canin, Hills, and Purina. But the one that we carry is a brand called Royal Canin, and I think they're excellent. What are some products I might need for my kitten? So, once we got Goose, uh, he got very expensive. He got a lot of new collars, a lot of new beds. Uh, my wife does like to accessorize for him. Um, so besides those things, he needs a litter tray. He's not going to be going outside straight away. Um, you'll need cat litter to go in the litter tray. Uh, you're going to need a carrier so that you can take him to the vet for his office exam or her office exam. Um, and then we've got plenty of blankets, but what he really likes is to go sleep on my keyboard, so maybe a computer as well. How soon should I bring my new kitten to see the veterinarian? Normally you will not get your kitten before eight or nine weeks of age. They should be dewormed two weeks, four weeks, and six weeks, and they'll get their first round of vaccines at about eight or nine weeks of age. If you have a found kitten, then we want to see them sooner so that we can give you a dewormer. But uh, basically call the office and they'll let you know. How can I get the most out of my first visit with my new kitten? Uh, best to be prepared. The fact that you're watching this video, you're already more informed than most pet owners. Um, so come with a list of questions. Uh, the vet is going to hopefully ask you everything that is important. Previous medications that have been given, any previous vaccination record. Uh, make a note of what you're feeding. 
and then um, everything should be explained at your office visit. What will a veterinarian look for during an initial kitten care visit? So part of the office visit, we're going to check their mouth, make sure there's no deformities in here, that all the baby teeth are in the right place, there's no cleft lip. Uh, we'll also have a listen to the heart, make sure there's no heart murmur. On the tummy, we'll check for a little hernia. On the male, male pets, we'll check for two testicles. Uh, occasionally, we'll find extra digits. Uh, we may find retained membranes on the eyes. Feral pets might have ear mites, signs of respiratory infection. You're becoming less of a willing volunteer. Uh, in his case, you can see he's got a little diarrhea on his tail. He's been sick, so we'll check for signs of things like that. And that there's the coat is shiny, there's no sign of parasites, fleas, things like that. What are some early signs and symptoms of health issues in your kitten? So most commonly things we see in kittens would be upper respiratory infection. A lot of the pets that come from shelters and rescues have exposure to um, respiratory viruses and bacteria. So they'll be sneezing, they'll have discharge from their eyes. Um, kittens like Goose, he had diarrhea. That was a sign that he wasn't sick. They may not be eating as much as you would expect, and they may be a little bit skinny. You can see his a little ribby right here. Why is it important to avoid self-diagnosing possible kitten health problems? Oh, where to start on that one? Um, I'm not a doctor, uh, so I don't diagnose for my son. Yesterday he had an ear infection, he had a cold, but I took him to the ER and I let the professionals figure that out before I decided to Google my own treatments for him. That would not be a smart idea. You might be right 50% of the time, but there's a lot of the time you're going to do more harm than good. So again, I don't, I have a, an electrician do my wiring in my house. Um, I have my plumber do the plumbing and I have my vet, which is me, look after the pets. When should my kitten get vaccinations? We're going to do their first vaccinations at about nine weeks of age. Um, they'll be repeated until they lose all of the maternal antibodies. At that point, they'll be around 15 to 16 weeks, depending on your veterinary hospital's protocol. And then they get repeated every year, and then every three years after that. What do you need to know about kitten behavior? Um, they're a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> they will do a lot of sleeping, they're babies. Uh, they've got a small stomach, so they're gonna need to eat quite frequently. Every time they wake up, you need to take them over to the litter tray, teach them that's where they need to go. Uh, they're gonna play and chew on everything. Their teeth can be very sharp, so be careful. My son comes and he tries to gently stroke him, but it's more of a whack on the head. Um, so you've got to make sure that they're not getting bullied by other pets. A dog could cause a lot of damage to a cat if it didn't like the cat. Um, so behaviors, he will play, he'll follow strings. I have a stick with a string and a feather on the end and he likes to chase that. Um, he likes to sleep on the back of the couch in places that look pretty dangerous. I can't really stop him doing that, but he has pretty good balance. So the behaviors, they're just, they're fun. Most people know that a cat is fun. That's it. Okay. See you guys later.